625 medium security inmates are housed here. Cell Block 3 is reserved for violent or disruptive inmates who pose security threats. At 9.05 p.m. on September 23rd, Correctional Officer Matt Schreiner strolls the Cell Block 3 catwalk. He pauses at a locked cell, reaches in the door slot, and is handed contraband. Schreiner then surreptitiously passes it to an inmate next door. Moments later, the young security guard stops at cell 203 to chat with one of the most dangerous inmates in the entire prison system. You probably know his name. Clifton Bloomfield is a notorious serial killer who was sentenced to 195 years after he murdered five people in Albuquerque 10 years ago. A few words are exchanged and then inexplicably, Schreiner unlocks Bloomfield's cell door. Why? Well, Schreiner later told investigators he just didn't remember allowing the convicted killer out of his cell. Bloomfield jumps the unarmed guard and overpowers him. With a shank at his neck, the prison guard is taken hostage. Bloomfield grabs Schreiner's keys and proceeds to unlock cell doors. Schreiner is able to break away. He dashes down steps to the first floor, grabs his walkie-talkie, and runs for help. With keys to the entire 40-man cell block and no guards, the inmates take control. Cell doors are unlocked and some of the most dangerous prisoners in the state go on a rampage. The main entry door is barricaded. Some prisoners use their newfound freedom to settle scores. One inmate, a suspected informant, is assaulted in a cell, his throat slashed. Other inmates disable the prison surveillance cameras. They start a fire and trash the cell block. The prison's riot response team assembles outside. They flood the cell block with tear gas and flash grenades. About an hour after the uprising began, prison security, dressed in riot gear, gained control. The entire cell block is declared a crime scene. Inmates are rounded up, handcuffed, and escorted one by one to the prison's day room. The inmate who was attacked is found in cell 109 unconscious in a pool of blood. Officers drag him out and call an ambulance. Ringleader Clifton Bloomfield is handcuffed and escorted out of the trash cell block to the medical unit. The prison complex is placed on lockdown and a Department of Corrections investigation is launched. So 